All right, here we go. So this is the first problem from class. I'll work through it. Um, and we're going to use logarithmic differentiation. What you're looking at here, what makes us different than what we've been doing, is we have a, a function raised to a function. So like one of our functions is 6x. Another one of our functions is 13x squared. All right, so function raised to a function. That's when we we'll go ahead and use logarithmic differentiation. So I start this problem off by first recognizing, hey, this is function to a function. I don't have a derivative rule for this. Really, that, that function as an exponent, this one up here in yellow, that's the one that's going to give me some trouble. So I can do a little pre-calculus out of this problem and, and get that exponent uh, down. So what happens is, we said, well, if y is equal to 6x to the 13x squared plus 1, then it must also be true that the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of 6x to the 13x squared plus 1. Okay. If both sides start equal, then the natural log of both sides will be equal. Now. Here's kind of that, that one property of logarithms that I think is, is advantageous to know when you get to calculus is if you have like the, in class I was, I said, well, if you have the natural log of smiley face raised to the star, that's the same as, that's equivalent to star times the natural log of smiley face, right? All I'm saying is you get to move that exponent out front. So this 13x squared plus 1 just because of the properties of, of logarithms, gets to move out front. So the right-hand side has turned into this. So now what's nice about the right-hand side is you don't have exponents anymore. Right? Now the left-hand side, you know, if we, didn't, if we didn't know that the derivative with respect to x of natural log of y, if we didn't know that that was 1 over y times y prime, we'd, we'd be in trouble, right? But we know how to take the derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x. So I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. Right? If two sides, if two quantities are equal, if two functions are, are equivalent, then their derivatives are equivalent. So, so I just said, well, if the left side equals the right side, then the derivative of the left side must equal the derivative of the right side. When I get to taking the derivative of the right-hand side, I've got two functions. I've got the one in yellow multiplied by the one in blue. That's going to require the product rule. So I'll leave the yellow one alone, 13x squared plus 1, and I'll multiply by the derivative of the blue one, 1 over 6x. That's the derivative of the outer. And the inner is 6x, so its derivative is 6. Plus, now I'll do the derivative of the yellow one, which is, what do we got, 26x. And multiply by the blue one left alone. So the yellow pieces, so that's, that's the yellow one, and so is that one. And the blue one. Well, there's its derivative, and there's the natural log of 6x. I'm not so worried about simplifying right now. I just, we're, we're trying to get comfortable with the process. So I need to get y prime by itself. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by y. Now, the, the right-hand side has two terms, right? You've got this piece and this one over here. So when we multiply the right-hand side by y to show that that both of those terms get multiplied by y, I put it in parentheses. So take the whole right-hand side and multiply it by y. Take the whole left-hand side and multiply it by y. So let's see if I can copy this. Okay. back up. Okay, so I got the whole left-hand side multiplied 
by y in the whole right hand side, and I need to copy this right hand side again. That's 13x squared plus 1. 1 over 6x times 6, that's just 1 over x, plus 26x times the natural log of 6x. So the left hand side, the uh, stuff in purple, that cancels out, right? That's just 1. So the left hand side is y prime. The right hand side, well, it's, it's basically what I have there, except I'm going to substitute back in for y. Right, so what you see here in green, I actually know what y is in terms of x. At the beginning of the problem, I knew that y was equal to 6x to the 13x squared plus 1. So I'm going to erase this. And I'll put in what I had. That was uh, y. So it was 6x to the 13x squared plus 1. And there we go. We're done. Yeah, you can simplify it a little, but that's not the goal right now. Okay, the next problem we did was y is equal to 10, the sine of 5x. Now this one, this is you've got a number raised to a function. If you do enough of these ones, you'd notice a pattern. Like you could kind of come up, you could come up with a formula. But I'm going to let you do enough of them to see the formula. So, hey, there's an exponent there. It's a function. That's kind of a problem. I'll just, you know, I'll do some pre-calculus to it. I'll take the natural log of both sides. 10 to the sine of 5x. Properties of logarithms. Say I get to move that sine 5x out front. No calculus has been done yet. I've just move that exponent down with a little uh, magic and, and pre-calculus. So now, sure, now I can take the derivative of the left side and the right side. The derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is 1 over y times y prime. Now the right side, let's see, I've got, that's just a number. And then the sine 5x, that's my function. The derivative of a number times a function is your number times the derivative of your function. So the, the lateral log of 10 just kind of gets to go along for the ride there. So the derivative of the, the sine of 5x, let's see. Um, I'm going to work from the outside in. So the derivative of sine is cosine. The next inner function is 5x. Its derivative is 5. I'll multiply both sides by y. And I get y prime equals uh, the natural log of 10 times the cosine of 5x times 5 times y. And what was y? Let's see, y is 10 to the sine of 5x. So I'm just going to plug that in. y prime equals, and I can rearrange this, 5 natural log of 10 times the cosine of 5x times, let's see, y is 10 to the sine of 5x. 10 to the sine of 5x. And there you go. That's your answer.